And of course, we can use technology to help our learners feel our presence and help them get more involved and engaged in the course to guide them through the learning experience and hopefully develop a sense of community. A good technology to help us do this is, of course, video, but I emphasize the thoughtful use of video. I say thoughtful video because it's not always the answer. It's a great way of delivering information, but it shouldn't be used to replace vital student learning activities, such as reading, for example. So it's a good place to start by thinking, what's the purpose of the video that I want to use to create a presence in my online course? You might create a getting started video that just shares information on how the learners can access information and get set up with the course. You might provide a course overview. This is the expectations. This is what the course uh, intends to do. Um, this is you know, what your experience might look like within the course. You might have a video focused on the learning outcomes or the intentions of the course. How is this linked to assessment and how does the content support this experience? Of course, you might have videos that are used to deliver the course content, giving a very strong um, educator presence throughout. And you might have videos related to assessments. Maybe it's an explanation of the assessment. Maybe it's an explanation of the rubric or instructions of what's required of them. Um, maybe it's an overview of a previous example, or maybe it's feedback related to an assessment. So a good starting point, as mentioned, is to think about the purpose of the video. And I just wanted to finish by highlighting some benefits of using video to increase educator presence. Of course, it lets you share some of your personality um, in these video kind of components. And I always think the more naturally um, unauthentic uh, you can come across on camera, the better for building relationships and linking um, to your students. And of course, it's a great way to share your expertise uh, in a certain field. So videos can reach very wide audiences um, beyond the, the confines of your usual cohort or course. Okay, other benefits of using video to increase educator presence is that it lets you deliver information over and over again without actually being there physically. So you can lock down a concept or some information in a video that they, you can then use over and over again. And it allows students to gain better understanding by reviewing the video at a time location that's convenient for them. They can slow it down, they can speed it up, they can skip back, they can maybe switch subtitles on to get a better understanding of the content overall. Okay, so that's a quick introduction to the concept of educator presence, what it is and why it's important and to get you to start thinking about how you might develop explicit educator presence in the online components of your course.